Hello everyone, it's 3.55 a.m. in the morning, um, so, I'm, um, feeling such panic attacks, I haven't had such heavy and big panic attacks and heavy anxiety and depression in a long time. No, I guess the last time I was feeling this bad was like with the depression and panic attacks was in January, around January 2021 when I was supposed to go to court um, for the time that I got beat up by a homeless gang stalker in Pensacola when I was homeless. So, um, like a few minutes ago, I try to go to sleep. I don't even know if the anxiety is causing me to feel more cold than I probably would be. Um, I just had the air on 72, but I turned it off and I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling so cold and full of anxiety that I'm feeling goosebumps. So, um, you know, I haven't been able to, me being homeless, I have not been able to rest since after I moved in here. That's when everything started going downhill and everything started to get worse. They hit me with directed energy weapons, me being attacked by online fake TI perps and being attacked here in person. And it's always something after another that's causing me increased anxiety. And um, so the worst thing so far is what happened on June 29th with the social security, that now they're creating noise campaigns. The, the worst thing that recently happened to me was um, that intimidation and fear and frightening. See, the, see look, look what the train is doing. Disrupting my video. So, um, ever since what happened with the, um, the lady at the Social Security office, what she did to me, well, I mean, over the phone, what she did to me on June 29th, I've been, I mean, I guess for the past couple of weeks, my anxiety and panic attacks and depression have really increased. It's like a situational depression and anxiety not natural but it's situational but one thing i don't understand about gang stalking is they'll treat the target like a criminal and falsely accuse them of all manner of wrongdoings but then if you were weak enough that you cave in and sell out then you can commit the very same crime, you get paid to commit the very same crimes that they're falsely accusing you of at, while you're targeted. And, oh, and once you sell out, you get rewarded for actually doing crimes like scam and fraud and theft and um, ruining other people's lives and everything like that. You know, the harassment and everything. So... They had, once I got in here, they they started hitting me with directed energy weapons really bad, having, causing me noise campaigns. They just recently started back up with sleep depriving me. And, um, you know, like the day before yesterday was the second time I tried to cook on my new $15 burner from Family Dollar and Dollar General. And so, like, the day before yesterday, I... I, it felt like me trying to cook for two hours. Me trying to cook was, it felt like torture because I didn't have enough sleep and couldn't sleep and was afraid I was going to fall asleep while cooking. So now I'm 
baking meat. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, not baking. I'm sorry. I'm cooking chicken in the crock pot. And so, um, now I've been like feeling like with the gang stalkers trying to frighten and intimidate and scare me and everything. I've been feeling like panic attacks about every crumb of food. I mean, cause they falsely accuse me of being obsessed with food and greedy and all that. And so I'm sitting here feeling like, like, cause if I'm having a panic attack over, stop. I'm I'm sitting here having a panic, like would have a panic attack, like, oh, did I have too much fat in my diet today, or did I have too much sugar, or did I have too much salt, or um, or too much sodium, or oh, did I have too much, you know, cholesterol, or did I and, and sitting here just freak, stop, motherfucker. That's a perp right there. So, I mean, can't even get my video done because of what, you know. And, and so it seems like, like I have to deal with so many people. If they're not trying to be highly narcissistic and micromanage and control me like a total puppet on a the string, then, I, I, I mean, I got to sit here and deal with fear, fear mongering and shame mongering and ostracism, you know, or castigation or... You know, just getting punished or corrected for everything I do or say. Everything I do or say is just wrong and needs to be corrected. So, you know, I'm freaking out about the Social Security situation. You know, having panic attacks and losing sleep. But they're also hitting me with direct energy weapons, sleep depriving me. Um, I didn't even want to talk about all this in this video because I had a different topic that I wanted to talk about, but the train kept distracting me. <clears throat> so um, now it's like the gang stalkers want to give me fear of um, going to jail or going to prison. And then now... Um, Religious narcissists trying to instill fear, you know, trying to make me afraid, like trying to cause me fear about and anxiety about going to hell when I die. And the gang stalkers wish death on me. I mean, like I have not cried in a long time. Well, I think I cried recently a couple of weeks ago, but... Like, I was just laying down, and my eyes just started to fill with tears. You know, and this would have been the second time that I cried, because it's like, <clears throat> I, I mean, I used to cry easily, but, you know, narcissistic abusers, they punish me for crying. You know, or the online gang stalkers will falsely accuse me of faking and over-exaggerating and squeezing out, force squeezing out fake tears and trying to falsely make it like I'm the manipulative narcissist. But it's like y'all criminalize me if I do cry. You know, if, if, if I'm, I, I mean, y'all won't even allow me to have the natural emotion to cry. You criminalize and punish me for crying, you know, and now it seems like I've been having difficulty to have a pure cry because y'all criminalize me when I would, you know, back then, like before the biological mom Francis passed away, like throughout my life, I used to cry so easily and, and cry all the time. But then, you know, y'all would even criminalize me for crying over a family member's death. So I wish I could go longer and talk. 